this is so fun! Yo, what is happening everybody? It's your buddy Aaron. Welcome back to another G35 video. Boosted G35 here. A little sad in the last two videos ago, you know, on the Tune Day, um, when we when we think or thought or may still think that we have blown our turbos. A little bit of an update right now. I did kind of tear it down uh, pretty much yesterday and today while I, while I was off of work. And I made some progress. I checked out a couple things um, just to see, you know, where I could have went wrong with the whole build or where what I can do to improve it or if, you know, if the turbos are actually blown. So let's just go ahead and dive right into that right now. As you can see, I got a couple things apart right now. We got, of course, our intake right here taken off. I pretty much took off all of the uh, cold side piping. You can see there's no cold side down there. All the cold side piping is right there. Um, I went ahead and cleaned everything out with a whole bunch of, shout out to Jesse, but brake parts cleaner. Um, I had like 10 of these bottles that I went ahead and just unloaded on the intercooler cleaned out all of the oil because as you guys know if you watch the tune video there is uh, well there was oil all up inside our cold side piping like oil everywhere and that was possibly caused by a uh, blow by from my non vented catch can system whenever you go boosted you gotta ventilate that shit. It's really good for the motor and it's really bad to have it all compressed in there in the crankcase. So I was boosting the shit out of my crankcase. I checked everything underneath. There's like no seals that are bad. I removed, now here's, here's the thing about the turbos. I removed the test pipes is what Martin told me to do, the tuner at RS Enthalpy. He told me to remove the test pipes, take a look inside, and as you guys can see from these pictures, there is no wetness. He says if there's any wetness, that's how you know one of the turbo seals are done and it's leaking oil through there directly into the exhaust. Now, it's pretty dry up in there so um, I'm thinking that the turbos have a chance of not being blown which is awesome because I don't have to pull the motor um, nonetheless the clutch is still slipping at 450 but maybe we can still get a little bit more fun out of our you know out of our current setup with the turbos and maybe I can get it back on the road because I just I want to drive it I want to pull it I want to have some videos for you guys so what we are working on right now is a entirely new catch can system setup so the system that we had before on our catch can was incorrect because it was invented first of all there was no filter here and we had our PCV coming to one and then the rear uh, PCV going to a smaller hose coming to another one so they can fit here and then I had this uh, plenum port right here that's currently uh, blocked off um, coming over here where this filter is so it was an entirely closed system nothing nothing of it was being vented so the, here's the new setup that I have I have the filter right here to vent everything I have the PCV valve pretty much deleted it's capped off and I have removed the front uh, valve cover hose connector. There's a hose that usually goes, it usually uses this hose right here to connect each valve cover to each other so that they both have, I guess, equal pressure or whatever whatever reason this was here for. So I removed this and I put two hoses connecting to each valve cover and those are going straight to the catch can. Now what I did with that rear, um, the rear vacuum, as you can see, I got a bigger hose meant for it and I have it coming all the way up to the intake right here. So it connects right there and that's pretty much how it's supposed to be. So I'm leaving it like that. that way that area can vent perfectly the way that it needs to be right out into the atmosphere over here and then I'll have a catch can for any oil you know going up uh, the really high portions of the valve covers so that would be uh, perfect to vent out in the atmosphere. Shout out to this dude right here because he showed me a picture of his uh, catch can and his situation with his twin turboed um, rev up um, DE with the same kit and he was having some smoking issues and everything he even rebuilt his turbos and still had smoking issues so uh, what he did was he removed his catch can setup and he put a really nice one I could probably put that picture here too um, where he has uh, pretty much two ventilation ports two with two filters on it and he's got four ports connecting uh, to the PCV valve the two valve cover ports up front and the valve cover uh, rear port on the driver's side so it all connects to that and when I was talking to my tuner about it, he was telling me that it's really good to have it ventilated. So, like, the more ventilation, like, even the better is, is good for the motor. So, that's that's pretty much what I'm working on right now. So, hopefully, this setup right here will will help me um, get it to where I want it to be uh, currently. Especially with having this port right here over at the intake. It should be ventilating way better now. And not forcing so much oil into the intake system from, um, from having a boosted crankcase. Um, so, now it'll be ventilated. Hopefully, no more oil goes in there. Um, I'm hoping. If oil does happen to go back into the intake system, then that means turbos. 
are pretty much blown. So just wanted to fill you guys in on all of the things, the new things that I'm learning, you know, as I'm going along with this process. And I do want to thank all of you guys for your support and your love on the last video and just letting me know, Aaron, it's just all a part of the process. It's just a little speed bump in the road to 600. Don't worry about it. You're going to get there. And yeah, seriously, I really appreciate all the love. And, and I know that it's good to have a mindset like that. Oh yeah. It's good to have a mindset like that because it's a, it's kind of a never give up mindset and it, you just got to keep on moving forward because there's no reason for you to be just kicking yourself in the butt, um, you know, just, just get up off the ground and continue moving forward. TJ Hunt. But no, guys, hopefully in this video, uh, we're going to be driving the boosted G35 at a, like a safe 450 horsepower and, um, you know, just pray, uh, cross our fingers that we don't start smoking again. Um, I also found some boost leaks, so instead of it being a hurt turbo, um, it made sense I found some boost leaks. So some other good news, um, we did lose like uh, boost power when we set it to 12 PSI uh, when we were at the dyno and we were either wondering, okay, it's probably either a hurt, a hurt turbo or it's a boost leak somewhere and thankfully I did find a boost leak. Um, I do have this little coupler right here. There's a little gash in it as you guys can see right there. It pierces, it goes all the way to the inside of it. So that's no good. So that was a major boost leak that we had right there um, under pressure. And then we have this nice little coupler right here which is just completely beat up. None of it pierced to the inside so I don't know if this one was leaking but yeah it you can see like all the oil that's still in here this is these are like the only ones that I didn't clean up because I'm not gonna be reusing them so yeah there's a bunch of oil in there these are all pierced up so I ordered a bunch of couplers I'm gonna be getting them today and I should be able to fix that boost leak issue so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting up all the cold piping back up I did replace the spark plugs because of the amount of oil that was burning through there I don't know if it affected the spark plugs they really don't look too bad um, they don't look like they're covered in oil or anything, so I don't think it was burning through the motor. Definitely think it's like a turbo um, blow-by type of issue. I gotta get the test pipes back on. These things are a pain in the butt. They're just hanging down. You can see it right there, dangling. And I'm gonna do all that work off camera because it's just a lot going on. I like to focus and put my mind to it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna get everything all together, see if we can start it, see if we can drive it, see what's happening. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Say hello to my little friend. Alrighty guys, so we got everything back together on the G35. You can see we got our intercooler back up, we fixed all of our couplers, all except for, you know, two couplers. Um, unfortunately, I got the wrong size couplers for these right here. Um, these are the ones that I ordered. I guess I went from a two and a half inch to a three inch or something like that because it's just way too fucking wide. Yeah, these aren't gonna work. But anyway, I just, you know, went ahead and put some duct tape because duct tape can fix everything. No, I just put some duct tape around that. Hopefully it'll stop the leak a little bit more than um, before, but I'm not gonna be running with this, so don't worry. I know it's super cringy, but I just wanted to do this just to see if we fixed our smoking issue, which, which would have to do with our um, catch can setup. Got our vented catch can. Um, our new PCV system is good now. We got the tops of the valve cover ports to the catch can. Got it venting out right here at this filter, and we got the rear valve cover uh, coming up over here to the intake and then our PCV is blocked off so hopefully uh, the turbos are not blown and hopefully it doesn't smoke again I'm gonna go ahead and lower it on the floor and get it outside and uh, go from there back over here goes down to this engine cleaner that hooks up to a compressor this thing works so good all right guys car is up to temperature I just cleaned up the engine bay a little bit so if there's any more oil leaking i'll be able to see where it's coming from we did have a little bit of uh smoke coming out of the exhaust look it like completely cleared up now uh, i think because you know when i sprayed into the turbos to clean them some of that went down into the turbo so it's just burning off like it came back and started smoking again so i'm just gonna take it on a little rip real quick This thing is so fun, dude. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Wow, it's so fun. Holy fuck. 
if you can see it but yeah you can definitely see it look at all that smoke so it's definitely still smoking over here on the passenger side coming from the turbo area yo so all of that footage that you guys just watched about this video me tearing down the g35 and all that all the test rips had a lot of fun with that um this actually all took place about three weeks ago um so fast forward three weeks i took a little bit of a break from youtube i know i'm sorry guys i want to jump right back on it with the content i just got a little let down and i wanted to kind of take the time um to go spend time with some family and go see some friends and um i took a nice little vacation from youtube and i'm sorry i didn't like warn you guys or anything but we're back we're gonna start uploading hopefully twice a week again um but yeah uh, fast Fast forward three weeks, um, we realize we do have to remove the motor so that we can, of course, change the clutch and I'm gonna have to rebuild those turbos. You guys saw all that smoke earlier. But good news about it is I spent all day today, not really all day, it took me four hours, but we got the engine out. As you guys can see, it's right behind me. So we have the, uh, the engine right here, guys, and I tore everything down and I found just a minor boost leak. I just wanted to show you guys, really, you know, super minor, nothing, nothing too crazy, just minor boost leak. Very minor, it's it's nothing crazy, it's just, you know, like half a coupling hanging on, not even. Yeah, so obviously that's a major boost leak right here, so I believe that's what was taking away all of our boost power coming from over here at this turbo, and I think there was some oil coming out of it, um, getting on the outside of the turbo, it's a little wet right here, and obviously getting really hot because the manifold and everything is right there, so that's what was causing all of the steam in the engine bay from the passenger side. I think this blew up a little early, like when we were on the dyno and we started losing boost pressure, pretty sure that's where it came from. But good news is I ordered all of the parts that we need. We got some upgraded wastegate springs. We got some all brand new couplers. Like I'm talking about all of them, not just the little ones that I replaced earlier in this video. Um, I got all brand new ones. So we're not gonna have to worry about any bursting couplers and all that BS and having to remove the motor again. Um, we're also going to be rebuilding the turbos. I went ahead and purchased some uh, Mamatech TD05H. These are the 18G turbos from Gretti. Um, I bought some rebuilds. I was also looking into the billet turbines, but the billet turbines didn't seem to really give any gains whatsoever, and they're really expensive. So I'm gonna stick with the regular turbines that I have right now. We're gonna rebuild all the bearings. We're gonna replace all the seals, and I'm also getting some turbo restrictors, and I'm gonna, oh, here we have the oil pressure um, lines coming out of the oil pressure sensor. We're gonna uh, turn it into this sandwich plate instead of feeding them um, with that oil pressure line we're gonna we're gonna use the sandwich plate to feed both of the turbos I went ahead and ordered a new seal for this so that's what we're gonna be doing and yeah that's pretty much it so I'm gonna be tearing this thing down and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to rebuild some turbos some journal turbos it's gonna be really fun um, something I've never done ever in my life before so hey may as well go ahead and film it and put it on YouTube thank you guys so much for the support and you guys looking out for me and asking me where I've been this whole time just I've just been relaxing that's all but we're back to the work and we're gonna get it done so I'm gonna see you guys in the next video take it easy oh also if you want to support the build head over to doubleasupply.com we got some merch and i'm gonna be giving doing a giveaway soon so if you guys start purchasing some merch today i'm gonna start uh doing some raffles i'm gonna give some more information probably in the next video or the following video about uh, what i'm gonna be giving away but stay tuned buy some merch you'll get some raffles towards uh towards a nice little giveaway so i'm gonna see you guys in the next video like this video subscribe hit that notification bell if you haven't peace out